Good morning. Today we're going to cover some SIGMAGs. Um, there's lots of, lots of information on the web about how you can use a 227 mag in a, in a P250 or in a P320. Um, that's 45 caliber. I'm going to show you that there is a difference in the mags. Um, a lot of people say they're identical except for the base plates, but that's really not true. So first I'm going to show you the, the P250 or the, the uh, P320 mag. This 45 caliber mag. I've made a simple jig here just to really make it easy to see it visually. So when I place the mag in and push it up to the front, you can see here that the upper line is the uh, top of the mag catch slot in the magazine. From, from the, this point in my jig, it's 1.812 inches. Okay, now when we do the same thing, and here I'll show you, just, right, so. so it is 1.812 inches to that mag catch. So now I'll show you with the 220, I'm sorry, the P227 mag, when I slide it up to the same position, put my micrometer here, or my caliper, I'm sorry, my, all right, all right, so it is roughly 1.836, all right, so um, I'm off about a thousandth of an inch there just from pushing it against the top of the jig, but the majority of times I measure it, it comes out 1.836 for the 227 mag to the top of that mag catch right here. All right. The 250 mag is 1.812. All right. I know you're saying, well, you know, 24 thousandths of an inch isn't very much. So let me adjust to 24 thousandths of an inch. If you can see that space right there, that is the difference of where the feed lips would be positioned in the gun. The 227, they would be 24 thousandths of an inch lower. Um, in, in the mag lock position than the 250 mag or the 320 mag. So, Will it work? No, nah, it probably will work. Would I trust my life to it? Absolutely not. Um, and also, you know, you got to think if SIG thought it would work, then they would just make a new plastic base plate and sell them as 250 mags or 320 mags. So I would not trust my life to that 24 thousandths of an inch. Now, the mags are exactly the same cut. Or, or I'm sorry, the same feed angle. If you look at this, they are both identical and the feed lips are at about, they're just about 18 and a half degrees or 19 degrees from, from nine, you know, from this axis here. So, uh, the angle of the feed lips are the same. The, the 227 mag has shorter I'm sorry, it has longer feed lips. If you look here, the feed lips are roughly about 0.714 on the 250 mag, and on the 227 mag, they are just about 0.802. So, this mag is really, really kind of different. You know, I, I wouldn't trust my life to using this in my 320 or in my... Um, in my 250. I personally would rather have 10 rounds that are flawless that are guaranteed to function than to have 14 rounds that may or may not function correctly from the first round to the 14th round. I would rather have carry one extra mag and have 20 rounds and two reloads instead of you know 14 rounds in a mag that may not work correctly. So anyhow this is this is the jig that I had made. 
So you can see the measurements there. I will insert a still frame picture of it so that you can see what I was talking about. So anyhow, hopefully, hopefully this makes sense to you guys and that, you know, nobody ever uses a 227 mag in a 320 or in a 250 and it, it causes them their life because a single malfunction can do that. So anyhow, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, post them in the comments, or if um, you want to see anything different, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll work on it. All right, thank you very much.